to the Ted Blocker YouTube channel. Today we are talking swivel shanks and specifically the two and a half inch drop. So let me show you. We've got a couple of them here. So here is just a plain straight two and a half inch. So you've got your belt loop and your little short shank. Plain. This is a right handed forward only swivel. in the plane with a black pin versus I had one with the brass in a basket weave. So just show you the difference there. Plane and basket weave, brass and black. Both the two and a half inch straight versus the two and a half inch bent. So I've got that in a plane. You've got your same size belt loop and you've got your two and a half inch drop with a bend in it. And I've also got that in basket weave. Just show those two together. All right, so showing those two together, the, the straight and the bent, pretending they're on a belt, there's your difference. straight versus the bent. So a very important part of the two and a half inch length drop swivels is bent or straight is very important and also critical are gonna be your T-spacers. So let me just show you an example of a Kydex holster. If we were to attach that, the screws would be too short, they wouldn't reach and there would be no room for your your thumb right here to get um, this unlocked. There's just not enough room for the swivel if you're trying to cram the holster straight to the shank, if that makes sense, versus having the T-spacers. So here we have an example of the holster attached with a T-spacer. But you see on the short shank, because of it being so close to the belt loop, you're still running into the belt loop with your, so that would be a really tough, annoying, not um, ideal um, for drawing your weapon. So you would either need another T-spacer to get it a little further out, or you would need the bend in it. Let me show you what that looks like. So here we have it with the T-spacer and the bend, and looky there, you finally achieved the distance you're going to need to do a proper draw. I believe this is only a level one, maybe a level two um, holster. But there you finally got the room for your proper draw. Again, that's bent two and a half inch with the T-spacer. Your holster should have come with the T-spacers, but if they didn't, or if you need longer screws, there's sets available online. I believe we have a link to that um, on our swivel shank page. But you can see how uh, critical it is to have the bend to give you that. Now let me contrast that with this holster which has the hood and the hood is even more you cannot cannot even I don't even think with however many spacers you added um, run this level of holster with a straight shank. You're definitely going to need the bend in it to get it away from the belt loop. So, just so you guys are aware. Now it can be a little confusing online, but we've got one T-spacer, got the bend in it, and it works great for that two and a half inch drop on the Ted Blocker Swivel Shank.